Australian swimmers have been on a roll for a while now, with names like Kyle Chalmers and Kaylee McEwen taking over the front pages following the recent major swimming competitions, ending the year 2022 on a great note for the swimming fans in the country. Breaking some fantastic world records, the two are going on to make history and putting fellow Aussie swimmers in the spotlight while inspiring more of the younger generation into the sport. First off, Kaylee McEwen makes history once again. The 2022 Short Course World Championships scored itself another record breaker with McEwen's 200 backstroke victory. This puts her on par with swimmers like Ariana Titmus, who made her mark in the 400 free at the 2018 Commonwealth Games, 2018 World Championships for Short Course, 2019 World Championships for Long Course, and 2021 Tokyo Olympics. McEwen aimed for the achievement within two events, but the specialty event at Worlds this summer was pushed back by the LCM 100 back world record holder to instead set her sights on the 200 IM, where she ended up taking home a silver medal right behind Alex Walsh. Joining the pedestal with her fellow Aussie world record holders, Titmus and Grant Hackett, is no small feat. These three are the only swimmers so far to have struck gold in the same events at the four major competitions, although counting the Commonwealth Games excludes more than half the world, considering only 54 countries make up the Commonwealth of Nations. Hackett's wins are truly impressive because of his tireless performance throughout multiple Olympiads twice, winning the 1500 free in every single major competition from the 1998 World Championships to the 2004 Olympics. It's no surprise that McEwen's absolutely stunned to be sharing the spotlight with someone like him, and she even talked about how surreal and phenomenal it felt. But with the rise in fame and more eyes on her, keeping her name on the titles is only going to get harder. She doesn't need to worry though, because the next three major competitions will take place in the playing field of her liking, the 50 meter pool that she prefers. Up next, the Olympic win that put her at the forefront. Kaylee McEwen made history at the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, becoming the second woman ever to hold both the 50 meter and 100 meter backstroke titles concurrently. We can see why she's slowly becoming an inspiration for young female swimmers around the globe. The young Australian swimmer first burst onto the international scene at the 2018 Commonwealth Games, where she won gold in the 100 meter backstroke and silver in the 200 meter event. Since then, McEwen has consistently proven herself as a formidable competitor, regularly making the podium at major international competitions without any signs of slowing down. But it was at the Tokyo Olympics where she truly shone, breaking the Olympic record in the 100 meter backstroke and narrowly missing out on the gold medal. Despite the disappointment of coming in second, McEwen was thrilled with her performance and grateful for the opportunity to compete at the highest level. In a post-race interview, she said, It's an honor to represent my country at the Olympics. I'm so proud of what I've accomplished, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. As the reigning champion in both the 50 and 100 meter backstroke events, McEwen's now considered one of the top swimmers in the world and is a strong contender for multiple medals at future international competitions. Her dedication, hard work, and natural talent have made her a role model for aspiring young swimmers everywhere. It's clear that Kaylee McEwen's a force to be reckoned with in the world of swimming, and we can't wait to see what she achieves in the future. Now for a look at the wins and close calls at the 4x100 meter medley relay. It is McEwen's third gold medal of the competition after she won the 100 meter backstroke and the 4x50 meter medley relay. Later that evening, as the United States smashed the record in the 4x100 meter medley relay, she brought her championships to a close with a silver medal. McEwen timed 159.26 seconds in the final on Sunday night, falling just short of her own world record time of 158.94 from two years prior. McEwen was fully outmatched by American Claire Curzon, who finished in 
in second place in 2 minutes, 0 seconds, and 53 milliseconds. The combined time of McEwen, Jenna Strauch, Emma McKeon, and Meg Harris was 3 minutes, 44 seconds, 92 milliseconds. But the Americans held the lead the whole race and won in 344.35, breaking their previous record of 344.52. Maggie McNeil of Canada broke the previous record in the 100-meter butterfly to start the session on Sunday night with her second world record of the competition. McNeil beat the previous record by a stunning 0.5 seconds with a time of 54.05 seconds. At the Melbourne Worlds, she captured each of Canada's three gold medals. When Ryan Murphy of America finished his sweep of the men's backstroke competitions, he added more salt to Australia's injury from the previous two nights. He won the 200 meter title in addition to the 50 and 100 meters. Murphy used a restart to win the 50 meter race two nights ago. Cooper won the first race, but because of a timing error, that race was disqualified and Cooper ultimately had to settle for second place. Coming up, Kyle Chalmers takes home the silver. Australia's 4x100 meter men's medley relay team set a new world record in the closing moments of the world short course swimming championships thanks to Kyle Chalmers, who served as the team's anchor. On Sunday night in Melbourne, Chalmers' teammates had excellent swims, but he started the last leg with a deficit of 1.3 seconds and was still behind at the final turn. However, King Kyle once more lived true to his moniker, charging home to shatter two records. The Americans and the Australian foursome of Isaac Cooper, Joshua Young, Matthew Temple, and Chalmers ran the race in 3 minutes, 18.98 seconds, beating the previous record held by the Russian Federation since 2009. It also meant that Australia beat their previous record of 12 gold medals from the 1995 and 2006 competitions to win a nation record 13 gold medals in the Melbourne Short Course Worlds. Chalmers praised their gold haul as amazing as they placed second on the medal table behind the Americans' 7 17 golds. On Sunday morning, Chalmers skipped his 200 meter freestyle heat in order to focus on the medley relay. After winning gold in the 4x50 meter freestyle relay and the 100 meter freestyle, Chalmers now has three gold medals overall. Chalmers was sure that he could catch up to American competitor Kieran Smith, despite the disadvantage at the beginning of his leg. I'm confident every time I dive into the pool, I believe I can win. In, he said, my journey in swimming is going to be until that is lost in me. It's this ambition that has carried the Australian swimmers to their wins in 2022. Let's look at fans go wild at Chalmers' performance. The Speed King destroyed the field with a split of 20.34, the quickest of the field, in an anchor leg for the ages. Chalmers' amazing performance caused social media to go crazy, and his swim was dubbed out of this world. However, Chalmers didn't stop there. Two hours later, in the 4x50-meter freestyle relay, he used the momentum from his outstanding solo swim to help us Australia win the gold. Prior to Chalmers entering the water in sixth place, Matt Temple, Flynn Southam, and Isaac Cooper took the lead for the Australian team. Fans took to Twitter in a frenzy with songs of praise for the swimmer, and we think Chalmers got plenty of new nicknames that day. Wide World of Sports dubbed his performance as the comeback to end all comebacks, and fans resonated with it closely because of Chalmers almost making the decision to quit swimming after his health issues. Winning his first individual world title after all the setbacks means the world to him, and the childhood dream he's held onto came true with all the hard work he put into this competition. One year ago, Chalmers endured shoulder surgery that may have ended his career. When discussing how much it meant to be able to recover from it and win the hitherto unattainable world title, the 24-year-old was practically at a loss for work. Now for Australia closes in on more wins. On day three, Australia took home two more medals, 
20-year-old Queenslander Thomas Neal, who finished second behind American Kieran Smith in the men's 400-meter freestyle, and Lizzie Deckers, who finished third to Dakota Luther in the 200-meter butterfly. Cooper surprised the 50-meter backstroke competition and won the relay gold in addition to the 100-meter backstroke bronze. Cooper will swim in the final as the quickest qualifier. The 18-year-old was kicked from the Commonwealth Games squad for abusing prescription drugs, but has made a strong recovery. Finally, Kyle Chalmers' career so far. Australian swimmer Kyle Chalmers, a rising star in the world of competitive swimming. Born and raised in Sydney, Chalmers first took to the pool at a young age and quickly developed a love for the sport. As he got older, Chalmers began to compete in local and regional swim meets, always striving to improve his times and reach new heights. It wasn't long before he caught the attention of the national swim team, and he was selected to represent Australia at the international level. Chalmers made his international debut at the age of 18, competing at the World Swimming Championships in Budapest. He made a splash, pun intended, with a strong performance, earning a bronze medal in the 200-meter freestyle event. Since then, Chalmers has become a fixture on the Australian swim team, competing at numerous major international competitions, including the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games. He has won numerous medals over the years, including gold at the 2018 Commonwealth Games in the 4x200-meter freestyle relay. In addition to his success on the international stage, Chalmers also has had a successful career at the national level. He has won numerous Australian championships and has set multiple national records. Despite his busy schedule as a professional athlete, Chalmers has always made time for his studies and is currently pursuing a degree in business. He has said that he hopes to eventually use his business skills to help grow the sport of swimming and make it more accessible to young people. And that's a wrap. What do you guys think about Kaylee McEwen and Kyle Chalmers wins? Let us know in the comments below. If this is the kind of content you like, be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button so that you never miss out on any updates.